Brought to you by Pell's Radio Appliance and TV. Finest service after the sale. Now from TV Cadillac, this is Local Edition. Hello and thanks for watching this TV Cadillac Local Edition. I'm Eric Otilla. As we face continued war in the Middle East, injured soldiers are constantly being treated at the Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C. Those soldiers always have a use for donated items, and one local senior center found a way to help the soldiers by quilting for a cause. It's just been a great time for everybody to get involved. The Cadillac Senior Center holds numerous activities every week, but one citizen's idea sparked a very special team effort to help our nation's wounded soldiers. Sometimes all it starts with is an idea. So Susie Mulkey had read something in the paper about asking for donations for Walter Reed Hospital and for quilts and lap quilts and bags. And she came to me and she said, you know, so this is something we can do. And we said, absolutely. With the idea to donate quilts in place, the Senior Center decided to set up a quilt-a-thon, making their own quilts and blankets to send to the soldiers at Walter Reed. The group ran into one problem, though, northern Michigan's unpredictable weather. We scheduled on a Thursday and a Monday, and of course they were both after some of our biggest storms this year. The poor weather meant that the event had to be rescheduled twice, cutting the group close to their deadline to make the donation. The tight deadline wasn't enough to stop the quilting group. Instead, the group of over a dozen people worked hard to finish their quilts in time to make the donation. And some have just been cranking out quilts by, by the tens. And um, some people like to sew, some people like to iron. You can do what you want to do with what you have. And we've just gotten some awesome examples of people pulling together. With a hard-working group of people working together to meet a deadline, the Senior Center's Quiltathon was considered to be a successful event for a great cause. Um, anything we can do for these guys at this particular time in history is just something that's super to do. It, it's our part in this. And the quilts made by the Senior Center were sent to the Walter Reed Army Medical Center just in time to meet the deadline for the group's donation. Well, coming up next on Local Edition, the largest beef recall in U.S. history was recently issued. We'll tell you about local schools' reactions to the recall and the plans they had in place for a situation just like this one. Stay with us. Once they've outgrown their toddler seat, they're still not ready for adult safety belts alone. Four foot nine is the magic number. Until then, kids need a booster seat. Make sure your little pumpkin gets there safely. Visit BoosterSeat.gov. And welcome back to Local Edition. I'm Eric Watella. The largest beef recall in the history of the United States was recently issued, but according to the Office of the Superintendent, Cadillac schools were prepared for the situation. The Cadillac area public schools received 10 cases, or about 400 pounds, of the recalled beef. About a month before the recall was officially issued, the schools received documentation about the potential problems with the beef. None of the recalled meat was served to students, and the superintendent's office said that Cadillac's schools have been very careful with the meat they do serve in order to ensure the safety of their students. And that does wrap up this TV Cadillac Local Edition. I'm Eric Watilla. Thanks for watching. If you have a news story you think would be of interest to the community, email us at news at tvcadillac.com or call 842-0188.